Aloha, Coach Thane with the Big Island Sports Network. Welcome to Episode 5 of Big Island Football 2019. Let's check out the action from last week. First up, Waikea visiting Konawina. After a tough loss last week to Hilo, things didn't get any easier for Waikea facing the Konawina D. Muti with the stop. Samson Iona in the backfield, tackle for loss. And then the offense got going. Little uh, pitch pass to Jesse Conda. Take it to the sideline. Cuts back across the field. Finds a big opening. And they're not going to catch him. Touchdown, Kona Wina, Jesse Conda, one of the leading receivers in the state. Jones back to pass. Going to find Conda again. Nice move along the sidelines, gets a couple extra yards, takes a few extra hits. Nakamoto Baltzar back to pass. And uh, last week's rising star on cover two, Caden Baptista picks up another interception. Jones back to pass again. Nice Baptista. Good running room across the formation. Stop just short of the goal line. Jones with a little misdirection play, finds Bossa coming back across. Touchdown, Wildcats. Nakamoto Baltazar drops the pass. Iona gonna step in front of it. Break a couple tackles, pick up some blocking. Running room down the sidelines. To the house, touchdown, Samson Iona. Little jet sweep, Ely Paka. But uh, Anahu Ambrosio, their tackle for loss. YK looking to get the passing game going, but uh, not finding a lot of time. Martin in for the sack. Forward progress stop, not a safety. And back to Boo Jones. And more Jesse Conda. Lots of yards after the catch. Batista, another pickup along the sidelines. Blue Jones directing traffic, finds Bossa downfield, lets the receiver go up and get it. Jones back to pass, swings it out to Anahu Ambrosio, takes it to the end zone, touchdown Wildcats. This is the first time we've seen Makako Awai suit up for the Wildcats this season. He's going to make his presence known to the Wildcat faithful. Nice run here. Tough tackle. Jones going to scramble, look into the end zone uh, for Conda. But uh, Jesse feeling a little charitable this evening. Going to let Bossa take the TD. Skyler Suzuki with some uh, hard running when called upon. Got an opportunity later in the game to cash it in. Takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Skyler Suzuki and the Wildcats. YK looking to find some rhythm on offense, uh, but when it looks like they have a play, uh, Bredesen gets a break up there. Warriors just need more uh, consistent offense. Give the defense a break and uh, give them an opportunity to put a few points on the board. Nice completion there. Nakamoto Baltazar is an experienced QB and given time he can find his receivers. He just hasn't had a lot of time in the pocket this year. But this play shows when given time he has some talent on receiver. Kaili Paka going to get deep, make the catch, take it to the end zone, touchdown Wildcats information on purchasing action photography, highlights, recruiting programs, and more, go to BigIslandSports.com media services page. All right, let's check out some highlights from Hilo versus Honoka'a. Miyasato is going to look downfield, 
find Ogata. Down to the one yard line. Miyasato with the give to Silva into the end zone. Touchdown, Vikings. Again, good, tough defense. Stringing out the play. White, Balga in on the tackle. Misato looking downfield, going to find Hassenritter. Wide open, they're not going to catch him. Ogata with a block, touchdown, Viking. Kilo defense with a takeaway. And the Ikane going to get the pick. Give the ball back to that potent Viking offense. Sato drops, and look over the middle. Find Tio Gonko. Can't make the tackle. To the end zone, touchdown Vikings. Awesome Ritter in for the punt. That's gotta tell you something. Probably not a punt. Fake punt, first down, Hassan Ritter. Up 45 nothing. Ricky Mamone in at QB with the pull. Plenty in running room to the house. Touchdown, Ricky Mamone. And some Hilo special teams. Honokata punt. Nobody puts the block on Kalen White. Makes the one-handed block. Picks it up into the end zone. Touchdown, Vikings. Little swing pass to Ogata, but that's stopped by the uh, Honoka on D. Again, Honoka playing some D. Uh, the offense tending to put them in some pretty precarious positions. Hopefully, as the season progresses, the uh, offense for Honoka can catch up with the D and that they can be a bit more competitive. Don't miss a minute of exciting Big Island sports content. Subscribe to the Big Island Sports Network YouTube channel and activate notifications today. The anticipated matchup between Kamehameha Hawaii and HPA took place last weekend. And uh, as I mentioned earlier in some of my uh, pregame reports, I was uh, interested to see how the HPA offense fared against the uh, Kamehameha defense, and they had trouble early. Uh, backwards pass, uh, picked up by Lau, into the end zone for a defensive touchdown. Kamehameha's D, very active, wild in the backfield for the sack. Kamehameha defense in the HPA backfield all day long. Niho gonna get in for the tackle for loss here. Now Tubuyo Kaheli gonna get things going for the offense. Find Chartran Panera, nice pickup. More defense. Verdon with the sack. And Martin Histo gonna get on in the action as well. And Kamehameha's standout freshman linebacker, Toby Lau. Another sack. More Warrior D, Kealoha going to be chased out of the pocket. Brought down by Arello. More defense by Arello. Tackle for loss. He wants to get in on the action on the other side of the ball. Kabuyo Kelly looking deep downfield. Arello with a nice catch. Apua Filche with some good running. Taking it deep inside HPA territory. Kabuyo Kelly finds Chartran Panera, dives into the end zone. Touchdown, Warriors. Back to the D, Kamiho, shoestring sack. Kubio Kahele, gonna find Austin Wilson, gonna take it into the end zone for another Warrior touchdown. Warrior D crowding the line of scrimmage, shooting gaps, tackle for loss, Lau. Back on the offensive side, Kubio Kahele to Chartran Panera, nice pickup. Let's try the other side. 
find Arello for another big play for the Warriors. And into the end zone, Arello. Near pick by Lena, but ends up a touchdown for the Warriors. HPA made plenty of plays. It was competitive down to the end. Just the offense putting him in uh, bad field position often. Here's Honda with a nice uh, punt return. Kaloha now. Much of the uh, HPA offense is just this, Kaloha scrambling. And uh, need to find some other options uh, as they move forward. Lena with the uh, punt return here. Good straight ahead running, picks up about 15. And here we see more scrambling by Kealoha. Certainly exciting. Here he's going to get the TD, dives through the pylon. But HPA needs to work on their passing game, so receptions like this one by Perez become routine and not few and far between. But uh, too often, it's Kealoha scrambling uh, to avoid the sack before he can find a receiver downfield. There's Travis with the uh, classic flag throw there. Not sure what that was, probably blindside block. Now you would expect a Kaluka Mayava coach team to be good at D, and they certainly are. Uh, it's just the offense often puts them in uh, some pretty perilous situations or gives up points themselves. But as long as Kealoha can escape, they'll do okay. And again, they can make plays. You just got to cut the mistakes down. Up the execution. Nice route. Pass to Lena. Touchdown, HPA. And again, more D by the Kamakani. Kelson J with the pick, but in the end, 34-12. Warriors with the victory. And probably the most exciting game of the weekend. Kiala K versus Kiala. Now Holly looking downfield. Mines Wersig. Nice pickup. Especio Mercado looking for running room, but Asinio knifes in to cut him down. Tackle for loss. Elijah Cahele had a big night for the Wave Riders. Here's a nice pickup up the middle. He's going to follow that up with a touchdown run. Some wave rider D. Anakalea, Delima, tackle for loss. Hele, going to pull it, keep it himself. Find big yardage up the middle. Quarterback draw, big pickup. Give to Canijo coming across the formation, gonna pick up some good yardage. And a wave rider first down. Shane Bannister finding no running room on a Kalea. Tackle for loss. Hale fakes the give to Kahele, keeps it himself and more running room right up the gut. This time backward pass. Lehman finds Wersig, wide open downfield, wave rider touchdown, razzle dazzle. Kahele doing it all. Taking the kickoff. Finding some blocking. Got the wall set up. 
Elijah Kahele taking it to the house. Touchdown, Wave Riders. Back to pass. Finds Canijo downfield. Nice reception. Respicio Mercado. Can't find any running room. Swarmed by the Wave Rider D. Again, KO trying to get on track on offense. This time, Worsick steps in front of the pass. Has an open lane to the end zone. Taking it to the house. Touchdown, Wave Riders. Another dip to Kahele. Good hard running up the middle. Big pickup. Vicio Mercado looking downfield, but uh, finds the wrong colored jersey. Meza with the pick. And more Kahele. Another touchdown, Rave Riders. And one more time for good measure, little pitch to Kahele. Finds the end zone again. Touchdown, Elijah Kahele and the Wave Riders. Mahale looking for more. Nice reception by Wersig. Again, fake to Kahele. Pull it, keep it yourself, and Mahale is going to find running room on the left hand sideline. Big pickup for the Wave Riders. Mahale looking into the end zone. Ty goes to the receiver. Touchdown, Worsig and the Wave Riders. Swinging it out to Kaneho, but uh, again, Cougars played some tough D, good special teams, uh, made some mistakes on offense, but uh, it was a good competitive game. Shane Bannister, tackle for loss. Here in Ahale looking to go deep one too many times. Chaos Kasai steps in front, gets the pick, and a nice return. Go backwards, young man. And here, Respicio Mercado has some time. Hooks up with Abijan. He's going to take it to the house for a touchdown, Cougars. Cougars into punt. To good coverage. Miho gets hit, loses the ball, recovered by the Cougars. Give to Castro, he's going to burst up the middle. Find an open lane into the end zone, touchdown Cougars. And Respicio Mercado, punching it in for the two-point conversion. Mercado looking into the end zone, going to find Kasai for another Cougar touchdown. And Silva going to take the kickoff. Get some nice blocking all the way to the house. Touchdown Cougars, final 55-29. It was a fun one. Pop Warner highlights brought to you by the Collegiate Prep Bowl promoting higher education through sports. We're managing three huddle accounts for Panaeva teams this year, so that gives us the opportunity to get around the island and see what's going on with the Pop Warner ranks. Here's the Panaeva 10 and under versus Kona Marlins 10 and under. Good D by the Marlins there. And equally good D by the Ali'i. Tackle for loss. And again, back in the day, hardly ever saw passing in a Pop Warner game. It was more of a novelty. 
now these teams are running spread offenses, RPOs, uh, wide receiver screens, uh, even at the eight-year-old range. So nice play, nice pickup by number 22 from the Elite. Jet screen, but the Elite D is going to string that out. Elite QB looking downfield, finds a receiver, going to take it to the house. Nice tackle for loss by the Marlins. QB looking downfield, finds an open receiver, nice pickup. The Lee make a lot of big downfield plays between the tens, but had trouble punching it into the end zone. A nice wide receiver screen, gonna pick up some blocking. Take it down close. This was a nice little play design. Wide receiver screen with a kind of a jet sweep coming back the other way. Number two for the Marlins gonna take it to the house. Touchdown, Kona Marlins. And more offense by the Marlins. They were just a little bit better today and picked up the victory over Ponapa. I'll move on to the uh, 12 and unders. Marlins looking deep downfield. Taking it down to the goal line. Lee with the handoff. Good blocking on the outside. They're not going to catch him. Touchdown, Ali. Offense, Takaki swings it out, but uh, defense right there, tackle for loss. Marlins deep over the middle, a little too far. The lead with the interception. Silva back at QB, finds a receiver. A little shake and bake, coming across the formation. Picking up some blocking. He's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Ali. Lee with the handoff. Again, uh, Pana with some good running, but uh, Marlins D keeping it in check. Silva looking downfield again, finds another open receiver. Big pickup for the Ali'i. More Ali'i passing game. Another open receiver, breaking tackles, inside the five. Touchdown, Paneva. Marlins on O. Cocky looking for some running room on the outside. Silva taking him down. Quarterback on quarterback. Silva scrambles, directing his receiver. Touchdown, Panayava. Again, setting up that wide receiver screen. Got some blocking on the outside. Nice pickup. More of the deep passing game. Shoestring tackle to save the touchdown. We'll just pick it up on the ground, fighting to get in. Touchdown, Panama. To 
Cocky looking downfield, almost intercepted. And the pitch. 22 gonna find some running room on the outside. Nice pickup. Marlins with the uh, handoff and the diving touchdown. And more Marlins O. Finding a receiver across the middle for a big pickup. And again the pitch. Houston's blocking well. Nice pickup for 22. And Takaki looking for some running room. Going to take it into the end zone, but uh, Paneva picked up the win. Mahalo for tuning in. Check back next week for more Big Island football action. Aloha.